Hey there, everybody. Fat here, and welcome back to Fat Plays RimWorld Poker World. I'm telling you, we're all doing right now. Doing pretty good. Parish is doing so good that uh, he's completely offsetting any of the progress we're making on converting him, but that's okay. You know what? Let's give you... Don't arrest her, please. Um... I thought you were supposed to right-click on... Oh, there you go. Let's go ahead and give them their 65 herbal meds. It's a lot, but we can afford it. We technically ate outside, but it's like, whatever. There you go. Enjoy. Might get a reward for that down the line. And that would make it worth it. We're redoing our dining room a bit. Aaron's gonna go, friends. He should move faster for several days. But yeah, we're redoing our dining room. We already converted all of these to ironwood, which is a big boost to the to the room quality in all of these. So yeah, everyone's sitting around slightly impressive territory. All right, Parish, you up? Yep. Okay. Bulpy, what are you doing? Eating? Go eat that meal, and then convert that boy. All right. It's gonna be rough while his mood's so high, but we'll work on it. Wind it down by ten. Okay. We're making schist blocks. We got all the diorite. Wow, okay. I didn't think that was going to happen for a while. Pleasantly surprised. I think what I want to do is probably cut this... the top of this zone off. And make that be a walkway. That's what I'm thinking. Also, I need to put flooring in here, I know. That someday, someday. So first, let's start on the outside. What is the cheapest? Four, 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 four. Five, three, three, three. I'm not putting down plywood outside. Four, 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 four. All right. Might as well be a Wendy's because everything costs four. Um. Well, I guess with that in mind, so I was gonna do diorite. I mean, I could do concrete. Cheap and quick to build, also quite ugly. But it's going to be outside, so who cares, right? Yeah, who cares? Yeah, do that. For right there. And then when they're inside, then they can come and look at our beautiful, you know, diorite smoothies. Sitting over here. All pretty-like stuff. There we go. And we'll cut that one right there, too. Boom. Okay. Eventually, those will get, you know, moved around. As things get cut. And that connects there. And then this comes around. Connects over here. There you go. You know, I can't help but be a little curious. Am I, like, the only person who builds their colonies so disconnected like this? Because sometimes I think I am. Like, everyone else, they have one massive building. And that is their column. Not everyone else, but, you know, I'm strapped. It, it, I'm, and on average, one massive building, and they just divide it into everything. And, like, I get the utilitarian aspect of that. But, man, I don't like it. I want people to be able to go, be able to go outside easily and frequently. And then by get to, I mean have to. Hey, Leech and Cadaver have formed a bond. She has named him Perseus. That's a great name. All right. Thankfully, she's skilled, so that works for me. That is a great name for like someone like a Cadabra. I, I might have gone with Odysseus myself. You know, someone known for their their smarts. Except when it came to the gods, and he was kind of a. Kind of an arrogant dumbass, but anyway, that's not here nor there. A again, with the DNA. All right, Parrish. Portrayal of a courteous abstract shape. Symbolizes exhaustion. Sweat of terrorism. <laughs> Great. Put that right up in here. All right, so now we have these windows. We can set it so that they allow air. And it will... We can make it so that it always allows light. And that's the important part, you know? Even during the night now, 
It, it can let in the firelight. And there's, of course, the lamp right here. At least I think the, it works on the firelight, does it? Hey, uh, Volpe, get the hell out of here for a minute. So the door can close. The vault, get the hell out of here for a minute so the door can close, or the light can turn off. And close the door behind you, by the way. Volpe, get the hell out! Okay, there we go. Uh, yes, it do they do, it does, words. It does catch the, the light from the fire. Neat! Well. I did not know that. Learn something every day. Really should start cutting up this granite. Especially since I don't know why I haven't done it. Granite is a great stone. You know? Yeah, 210. Yeah, give me some granite. Did I? Wait, clay stone. Clay stone? Clay stone. Clay stone? When did I put in an order for clay stone? Apparently it's ugly as hell. Why do we want clay stone? I guess it's a little strong? I mean, I guess it's ugly as hell sitting there, to be fair. I don't know why I wanted that. <laughs> what? Huh? Did I do that? What in the world? Okay. So close. We need 20 more. Okay. Sherubi. Man hunting Sherubi. Oh, crap. And the Cherums, too? The Cherums are higher level. Much higher level. They're the, the actual dangerous ones. Okay, there's six of them. There's an arrow now here. You might be catchable. All right. Wake up. Everyone... All right, perish. No, you, do we have a melee weapon for you? Surprisingly, yes. Okay. It ain't good, but we... I don't know. This one's better. Yeah, it's damaged. Grab that one anyway. Okay. Leech, should we have a gun for you? I mean, technically, yes. You're not good at it, but honestly, it's Pokemon. You know, just aim and shoot at them. Courtney's incapable of violence, of course. Everyone else is armed and ready. Wake up. Got a poke problem. Okay, they should have to go all the way around, and that's the good news. You know? Leech is armed. Let's go. Parrish is armed. You eat that meal later, dude. We got a poke situation. Okay. Dismiss, you're up first. Snip him. Wait, why did, it, why did it slow us down? What happened? Did one of them go around somewhere? I don't know why it slowed us down there. That usually means that they're trying to do something. But I don't see what. Take that shot and start moving back. Okay. Alright guys, get ready. Line up over here. Oh, this was one of them shot again. Run, 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 run. You're not really great at this, Dismas. Okay, get down here. Here they come. Okay. Get with that electro ball. Come on, man. Oh boy. No mercy. These guys are tough. Uh, Dismas, come around here. There we go. Parrish, come around this way. Ray Ray, you come up here. Get this Cherum. There you go. Tell your Pokemon to attack. Fire at will. One down. Charmeleon's hurt. Charmeleon will be fine. Reynold's hurt. Reynold is hurt by a gunshot. Okay, everyone else. Parents hurt. Whoa, what happened here? She was already missing that lung, but she did get hurt by a Cherum. By Magical Leaf. Oh my goodness. Get out, get out. Go, go, go. Perseus made the level 20. Um, Head into the hospital area. Okay. 
Perish, rain all, get over here, get ready. These ones should go down easy. Done. Alright. Okay. Yeah, Raynal, pat yourself up real quick. You need a hard tack. That's good. I mean... You're already missing one of your cherry heads. You're practically dead. I want that Aaron. Gotta remember to go after it later. Okay. Baron. No, no, no. Uh... You gotta lay down. Take one of these extra beds. Rest till healed. Ray Ray. Kind of a high priority situation, buddy. Okay, I mean, it is your wife. You should... You should feel the high priority situation. Hey, he's, get, he's getting the real medicine for this. There you go. And one more. And you'll be just fine. All right. Gonna take a while to heal up, but she'll be okay. Just a scratch on the neck from a magical leaf that magically cuts through things. It's fine. <laughs> We're fine. Everyone's fine. Uh, the only Pokemon that got hurt was Charmeleon. And it honestly wasn't that tough either. Ray Ray's already coming to work on it. There you go. Yeah, you're gonna be okay. You're gonna be just fine, baby. Yeah, the concrete wall is not great. Delibird 1 loves us, by the way. Um, yeah, concrete wall, not super impressive. Or not wall, floor. But it'll get the job done, and I kind of want to expand it a little bit. Make it a little bit bigger, and then maybe put some put something down the sides of it. I don't know. I'm just making things up at this point, but... I feel like I want to do some work down here. You know, it's a nice bridge. It gets, gets you in here. Whereas everything else is wall. Let's see, with the way the bridge cr cuts through... Or the... Not the bridge, the river. I feel like it makes sense to have another bridge somewhere over here. So that people can cut through a little bit more easily. Because it does slow down your walk speed a lot. And what that means is that if you can get a bridge here, they're more likely to move through that area. Which would be good. You know, again, funneling the people, funneling the enemies where you want them to go. And everyone else, too. You want to funnel everyone. Ray Ray's healed up. All right, Parent will heal up. It's going to take some time. It's going to be, you know, operating at lesser capacity for a while. Raditz is already level 13. That's pretty great. Right, honestly, things are looking pretty copacetic again. I love these walls, by the way. Um, I want to check something here. Baron, what are you making? Hard tacks? They're, that, those are important. So yeah, make that. Thank you. I guess eat some. You could have chosen anything in the colony. You chose to eat hard tacks. All right, who am I to say you're wrong? But yeah, you can shoot through these as is. That's amazing. They are literally just like extra cover. And then you can put sandbags in front of them if you really wanted to go nuts. So once we upgrade our defensive area to real walls, which honestly we should have done at this point would have been one more diorite per block once we upgraded them we're gonna put windows in them so that we can shoot out you know we'll probably make actual bunkers which means you know i'll have a side and a back to them as well so i get this this will be an actual corner and we can shoot out the windows and then there's an entrance and an exit to it as well that's probably what we'll end up doing can you just upgrade these like by building on top of them that's a negative. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. But yeah, what I'll probably want to do is like... From here... To like... Here? Ooh, that's probably a little too... T a little taller than I would want it to be. So, to here... 
And then I would probably just go ahead and keep it open. Like, have one opening for it. Maybe on both sides. Like that. And then replace that with wall. And that'll be a full turret, you know? It'll be nice, probably. Maybe. We can expand our home area down here at this point to include all this stuff. There we go. Probably should include uh, that. Yeah, yeah, yup. Yeah. Probably should include that. Yup, yup, yup. Yup, 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 Aronis. Okay. Good stuff. I have road work going all the time, man. I swear. I spend more time designing the colony than I do anything else. That Aaron's still here, though, right? Yeah, it is. Yeah. There's some Sentrets over here, too. Pretty cute. Pretty cute, not gonna lie. Parrish and Beedrill 1 have formed a bond. Parrish has named her Odette. Hi, Odette. How you doing? Thankfully, you're already following Parrish around, so that works out perfectly. Alright then. Parrish, how you doing? Uh, 87? Ooh, it's close. Tell you what, Parrish. Why don't you try to catch the Aaron? We'll try something different over here. Where's that little dang thing? There it is. Okay. Give it a try. You got a Deedro by your side, right? What else do you need? Hey, we got a we got a new Pokemon. We got a bunch of Della Birds, which could effectively just be a bunch of meat. Uh, we should at least make some of them meat. We're gonna do four of them. Yeah, like that. And a Dunsparce. A Dunsparce. What a weird Pokemon, man. Um, we're gonna train it. It's it's intelligent. It can learn anything. So that's good. Just born. Worth 25 bucks. What's not the love? Okay. This thing is only level 12. Try it. What's our base chance? Uh, it's gonna be hard to find out if you don't it land the Pokeball on him. Base chance is 14. That's actually not that bad. Uh, okay. Do we have any range attacks? We have none. Alright. Bug and flying? Or... Bug and point? What? can't remember what, which one Beedrill is now. Are you bug flying or poison flying? Or bug... There you go. Bug poison. There you go. So some of these Pokemon need three types. Okay. Good slap. Good, 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 good. Uh, Nina, Nina, get out of the way. Puss. Fifteen. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go! Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go! Let's go! Eighteen percent. It's actually mad now. Let's go, let's go! Ugh. Stinky apricot balls. Come on, you can do this. Pokeball. Go. 19%. Eh. Come on, Parrish. Ah. You can do it. 21%. Come on. Oh, come on with 21%. We did it. All right. Good job, Parrish. Almost got a death of a thousand cuts over there. Pull this thing in. Hidorino was going to do it, but you could do it yourself. And I like how they keep the type of ball that they were caught in. I was honestly wondering. And now that I know, I know. It's a good thing to know, you know? 354. Almost got it. Yeah, I shouldn't have been surprised at the five Pokemon, or the five eggs were Delibirds. Usually are. What you making, Volpe? Canned meals. All right. Our favorite. Where, where are you putting them? There's our drink. Why are the canned meals going in here? I don't get that. Are they not allowed in here? No, they're, well, they're not allowed here. Why aren't they going in here? 
Because they're not allowed in here. But I guess they don't need to go in here. They need, they need to go... Anywhere, honestly, but... I guess what I should do is... Build a little shell? Right here? For canned meals? That yeah, makes sense to me. Dining room's very impressive, by the way. In case you were wondering. Either way, good job, Parrish, on your first catch. Very happy to see an Aaron on the team. Can't wait to see what Bond's with. And can't wait to turn into a big boy. Alright. Hey, the road's done. Sweet. Enjoying that. Enjoying that a lot. No, we still don't have turrets yet. We should consider getting that done someday. Just about to head up here and check how this was going. You read my mind, Reynold. Alright. 82%. Almost ready for another attempt. And up to 88 there. <sighs> yeah, it's going to be real close. 354. Oh, 364. That's enough! That is enough to plow the soil. Alright. Let's do it. Um, I'm gonna... Well, I guess we could wait until the next... Hmm. No, I'm not gonna do this one. That's right, that's right. That, 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 make, that mission makes me uncomfortable. Uh, we're not doing that. D Vulp, are you dead again? No, she's stargazing. It's a windmill, Vulpy. It's not a star. That's why it's so close. Stop sp At least look toward the sky. Please, spare me. Why do you guys... You guys are obsessed with putting guns in here. Uh, no. Canned meals in here, please. Highest priority. This is where they go. Okay. And, uh... I guess canned meat as well. Does it go out under raw food? Yeah, it does. Alright. Cool. Parents fully healed, by the way. It's pretty great. I appreciate it. Hey, how are we doing up here in this corner? Uh, still a lot to go. It's fine. Uh, you know, the rice just got harvested, so this could take a while. So I guess with that in mind, let's go ahead. Put it in order. Cut this stuff down. And replace it. Replace the soil, plant it back down. It'll grow much faster after that. Uh, Leech has inspired taming. She will tame the next animal regardless of difficulty. Too bad we don't do regular taming. Baby Magby! What? Show me, show me, show me. Where, where, where's the... Hey, a ladybug. Show me the Magby. There it is! Level 5. Train him in everything. He will learn all the things. That's a good one. I'm happy for that. Okay. Yeah, that was a hard enough time trying to catch the Aaron. I don't think we could stand a chance against Larian. Even with regular Pokeballs. We would need to research better balls. Okay, we're researching geothermal right now. So with that in mind, how about we learn how to make regular Pokeballs? What do you make those? Oh, dude, we gotta do smithing and machining first. Alright, you know what? Let's do that. Uh, what are advanced hydroponics? I mean, I don't think we need hydroponics. Not right now. Better air conditioning? That could be useful later. Harpsichords. Packaged survival meals? We've already... We got better than that. Water mill generator? Why haven't I done that? We got a river right here. You guys didn't tell me. Where was the comment saying, Hey, Fett, you know what would be really cool? If you had a water mill generator, you doof. I mean, I appreciate the respect by not saying it that way, but... It's true! Alright, the plants have been cut. So now what's gonna happen, as you can see, we're gonna throw that down on it. Yeah. And as these get replaced... 
Oh, it's already at 3.6. Look at that. Look at that. It's already at 5.4. Look at that. Look at that. Throw rate is 160. Thanks to that fertility. It's going to take a while to get it all put down, but it's going to be so, so worth it once it is. Yeah, this is beautiful. Why are you just doing it one at a time? Usually you carry like seven plots worth. Is it because it costs ten? And that's a lot of fertilizer? And it's stinky, so you don't want to touch too much of it with your hands? Is that what's going on? I don't know. I'm, I'm actually curious. I'm only a little bit. Reynolds got tattered apparel. What's tattered? His steel plate armor. It's getting. It's finally getting old. Gonna need to learn how to make him some better armor. Good thing we have smithing down the line. Um, what about armor though? Yeah, we can learn to make plate armor. We can give him plate armor, dude. Uh, let's learn how to make complex clothing and well, we already got compact complex clothing. So let's do plate armor after smithing. Get that in there so we can make him some better arms. A special trade. A nearby settlement, the Togetherness Lagoon, has made a special request. They want 155 bandage kits. I don't even think we know how to make those. Do we? I don't think we do. Medicine production. Uh, ambrosia, complex furniture, stone cut. What is this have to do with medicine? Uh, okay, I'm not seeing it anywhere. We can't make, or we don't have the knowledge to make a medicine table yet, right? No, we don't. I'm assuming you can't make them at the tailoring bench. Never mind, you can. Uh, okay. 24 ingredients. What counts as ingredients in this day and age? Uh, cloth, devil strand, hyper weaver, synth thread. So... In theory, we could do this. It would take a lot of cloth, so it would take a while to do, but it's doable, you know? 23% grown already. It's going to take four days, on average, to get a rice harvest. Ah, crap. We let the centrets in. <laughs> that wasn't what we were intending to do. It's fine. It's fine. What are they going to do? Run around and be cute? Oh, no. Hey, as long as the Puccinas don't run in here and hunt our... I don't know. Not Bite. Bite would just eat them. The dude is already level 34. He knows Thunderbolt, for crying out loud. Think he's scared of you? This dude's already level 21. Wait until he learns Psychic, though. Couldn't you do that from the outside, Dismas? Like seriously? Nah, no, no, no. You know this is you know this is a sign of. We need to upgrade these windows. Because if we did that, problem solved. Doors open and close automatic, or the door, the windows, not doors, don't have to open and close. Then look at Dismas. He's got a great view of the garden. Okay. Much better. Problem solved. Now we don't have to go opening and closing the windows all the time. You know, once they're done. Probably shouldn't be putting in more work orders while well, we got that uh, one up there that has to be a pretty decently high priority, to be honest with you. Certainly he's down to 55 on Poopy. Yo, we need a parish conversion over here. Uh, oh, his mood's back down. That's doesn't sound great, but that's actually great. Because that means... Um, He's more likely to listen. Down to 82 again. <laughs> but yeah, we can get his mood down to like 50%. It's at 52 right now. But if we can get it down to 50%, and you know, it sucks that we have to do it this way. But then it pays dividends because it'll make it way easier to, you know, to turn him. Holy vey. All right. Thank you, Dismas. This is important work. Boom. Get that done. Uh, before I forget, we need windows. Uh, we're going to do diorite windows here. We're going to make a match. And we're going to do, I think, one here. 
Yeah, I should have made this a little bit bigger now that I think about it. Because I think what would make sense would be one here and here, and then the other ones would be here and here, and this would be wall. Because then I can have people stand here, here, and here. But then if I made this a little bit bigger, this would work out even better. So that's what I'm going to do. Take this out, take this out, take this out, replace that. Make it one step bigger so that someone could uh, also stand down here. And that way, you kind of have the whole place covered with maximum, uh, cover. <laughs> Go ahead and do this real quick. Thank you. Boom. I, I mean, we could go with double walls. And in some cases, that's very nice and useful, but we don't need it. All right. How we doing? We got some, uh, dandelion cuttings. Means we're gonna have tea somewhere. Probably already do. Yeah, we have uh, 62 dandelion tea already. Is that something that has to be scheduled or like, does it count as a social drug? How does that work? What is dandelion tea? It is. Usage. For addictions. For recreation. Dandelion tea is a recreational drug. So is honeymead. Technically. Uh, ambrosia should probably be used more conservatively than that. In fact, everything else here probably should be. Yeah, no, ibuprofen is not a recreational drug. Uh, just want that on the record. Fruit drink? Totally. Don't want to rent. Nobody's been drinking it. Barley tea? Yes. Garden coffee? Go nuts. Garden tea? Hell yeah. Drink up. So you could be the first to embrace the new policy. I'm watching. Oh, oh, is it Perrin? Is it Perrin? No, she's just going after some canned food. But she's actually moving it in. No, she's eating it. Which is, you know, good. What we want you to do with it. Come on, someone drink something. Thank you, Neon, for moving the rest of that canned meat. Make it more for- Volpe's the first one! She's got a can of fruit drink! Hell yeah, it looks like orange juice. Mmm, orange drink. It's tasty. Gives a good mood boost, right? Something good for me. Now I'm all warm and fuzzy inside. And you've been nuzzled. Well, she's just living the life, isn't she? Alright, how are these how are the windows replacements going? Uh Reynolds is done. Has it? <laughs> Probably need more ironwood. This is done, which is great. You know, they're almost at 50%. So it's gonna be like four and a quarter days for them. Whatever. Alright. Done. Just need to get these two deconstructed. There's a little bit of a divide here, which is... a little annoying, not gonna lie, but that's okay. Now we have a, an actual bunker up here, so we could actually send gunners up here to defend the colony, and then eventually, if we decide to research turrets, which we probably will, because I have a few turret mods... Oh, baby, hold on to your butts. That's going to be it for this episode of that Blaze RimWorld Poker World. If you enjoyed it, be sure to let me know by giving it a like, having a like, don't forget to subscribe for more, if you want to see more. And if you don't, um... Then don't. Go watch something you want to watch. Thanks again for watching this episode of RimWorld Poker World. My name is Thad, and I'll see you in the next video. Everybody-o. Hey, look, Dan Alliance. Good for more than just tea.